Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started in an Adobe Connect meeting. First of all, you should definitely have a headset. If you don't for the first meeting, it's okay, but invest in a USB headset and use it because you'll need to have that going when you're doing a web meeting. Secondly, you'll want to know the URL of the meeting room and log in as a guest and use your first and last name so I know who you are. In this particular video you'll see the meeting room and I'm in it as a host so it might look a little different to you but it looks essentially the same. The new Adobe Connect 8 is wonderful. It's so much easier than the one before. When you log in you'll be a presenter most likely and you'll have these options up here. By default, your speakers are turned on. If you'd like to turn off your speakers, you can, although you should have them turned on. And you have a, a way to connect your audio and start your webcam. If you don't have a lot of different microphones hooked up, your, up to your computer, it's usually pretty easy just to click Connect My Audio, and it will ask you to allow, and you'll say Yes, your audio. However, if you're like me, and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my microphone. If you're like me, I have a bunch of different microphones hooked up and everything, so it's a good idea to check the settings on your computer. I'm using an Apple computer, so Windows is a little bit different, but I'm going to go ahead and go to my System Preferences, and I'll click Sound, and I'll make sure that I've selected the correct input and output for my audio device. For this particular meeting, I'm going to use a wireless headset, and it's called a Plantronics, and so for my input, and as you can see, here's an indicator that it's, it can hear me, and then the output, I've also selected the Plantronics wireless audio. So I have these other kinds of devices as well, but this is what I've selected. So if you run into any problems setting up your audio in Adobe Connect, Go to your sound settings on your computer and make sure that it's selected the correct sound settings. So if you've done that and you still have trouble, you can also cl click Meeting and go to Audio Setup Wizard. This will take you through a series of steps where you can play the sound, make sure you can hear it in your headphones, your headset, and you go to the next step and make sure that the correct audio is selected, the audio device for your microphone. And next step, you can record and you can actually listen back to your recording. You should test the silence in your room. If you have a lot of noise, um, Adobe Connect will uh, compensate for that. And then just simply click Finish. So I know that I've gone through my settings on my computer and also I've done the Audio Setup Wizard in Adobe Connect, which is Meeting and then Audio Setup Wizard. Also, when you get a chance, you can click Preferences. And you, you don't have all of these preferences, but you'll have audio and you'll have video preferences and some screen share preferences. So all you need to do is click Audio, turn green, and as you can see, it's showing that I'm now speaking in the meeting room. If I want to connect my webcam, I can either click this or I can just click this Start My Webcam, but I'll go ahead and click this for now. And first it's going to show a preview, and I have a lot of light in here. It looks like I'm a ghost, but <laughs> you're going to have to deal with that. And I'll click Start Sharing, and now I'm broadcasting to whoever is in the meeting room. If I want to ever stop my webcam, I can. Or let's say I want to walk out of the room for just a second. And I have my wireless headset on. It's a um, Bluetooth, so it doesn't go that far. I can't go that far with it, but I can walk a little bit if I want to go grab a book or something. And I can pause this by clicking this button, and now it's paused the, the video. That's not a very good place to pause it. And then if I want to start it up again, you can see it. it you just hit the play button. So I'll stop my webcam. You'll also notice a little drop-down box here for pod options. This also helps if you're having trouble with it finding your camera. So that if you say select camera, it will ask you, okay, what kind of camera? And I only have, I'm using my, the iSight camera on my iMac. There's a chat pod where you can enter text. Sometimes I'll have a poll. We can take discussion notes. You can take notes over here too. 
and I've also got I have some notes down here when you show up you'll show up as a presenter and we have breakout rooms if we have too many people and then there's also a drop down you can say I, I'm stepped away for a minute say speak louder or speak softer speed up slow down if you're laughing you can click this little icon if you want to give me applause do that but basically that's it make sure that you have your audio settings correctly done on your computer whether it's a Windows or a Mac based computer and make sure you've selected the correct input and output and then go ahead and start your audio if it's still not working go through the audio setup wizard under meeting audio setup wizard I hope this video will help you get ready to participate in an Adobe Connect meeting. Thanks for viewing.